Have you ever wanted to create Instagram reels that had that clean and aesthetic look just like this? Well, this is what I want to show you how to create today. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Real quick, before we get into it, my name is Justin, and for the last five years, I've been a full-time video editor, and to be completely honest, these clean and aesthetic reels are, are just honestly one of my favorites. Maybe it's just right now, but I love them. So I want to share with you how we can create this look. So for this edit today, we're going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm going to be using my clean and aesthetic preset kit that you can grab off of my website, justinlizandb.com. So instead of having to do these edits over and over again, you can just drag and drop it one preset. So you don't need to buy it but that is available to you. So you can get like 30 different presets that you can just drag and drop into your edit. So in Premiere, we're just gonna go up to new project. So I'm just gonna go ahead and name it Aesthetic Reel. And then we're just gonna go ahead and hit Create. So in Premiere, first thing we need to do is to get our footage in here. I already have it teed up, ready to go for us. Personally, I honestly, I always just drag and drop it into my timeline. I don't really have a reason to not to. If you want to do it the proper way with the imports, by all means, you do you. So I actually record my audio separately. So I just threw my voiceover in there and now I'm just going to nest it really quick. You guys won't have to do this or anything. Just an extra step for me. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete that. So the first thing that we got to do is do our color correction. That's just the way how I like to do it personally. Now, I don't know anything about color. I'm not even going to act like I know how to do it because I'm just mid at it. So personally, I use the Jax Films LUTs. I'll leave it linked below. I'm not affiliated with them or anything, but they're just gas and I don't know how to color grade, so it saves me. So in the effects tab, we're gonna go to Lumetri Color, drag one of these on. And so then under the creative tab, we're gonna go under look, and then I already have them imported. So I'm gonna go down here and hit R S log three. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a second Lumetri Color into it. And then again, we're gonna go under creative, look and then i like the days two okay days two log let's try that one there we go okay now we're looking a lot better turn the intensity way down so let's do 35 bam now we have our color grading done so now my workflow is i like to cut up all my footage first and then we can go back and do all of our visual effects on top of it if we zoom in on our timeline here i'm just going to go through and cut up all this footage so i'm going to go ahead and hit c for our cut tool and i'll speed this up for you guys i'm just going to go through cut it up and just make it feel right so I'm gonna move this on over and I will just go ahead and start cutting it up. So really what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to get rid of all like the dead spaces in between. So that way it just keeps it more engaging all the way through. Definitely you wanna start it when the audio waves start just so you don't have any time for people to scroll away before the reel even starts. Have you ever wanted to create Instagram reels that have a clean and aesthetic look? All right, we, we only had about one cut in there. Gonna move that all the way forward. And so now we can really start building out this reel. First thing we wanna do is we wanna go up and go to text. And we're gonna go over to transcript, make sure our clips are selected. Hit transcribe, it's gonna go through and just start feeding us all the captions and there we go. Personally for me, this is totally subjective. I like to have like no grammar in my captions. And so I'm just gonna go through and I'm just gonna eliminate all of the capitals, commas, periods, whatever. I think it just looks better, in my opinion. And you will run into some typos, so just add an A right there. Come down here, double click, get rid of the capital. I'll leave an apostrophe in there. It just feels right. That all looks good. So we are now gonna go over to captions, create captions from transcript. Under this captioning preferences, we wanna leave this as subtitle, then your maximum length in characters, especially for vertical content, you're not gonna want it to be very high. I would say like 14 or 15 probably, just because you're gonna have text that's way too long to fit in one line. So the minimum duration we want as low as possible and no gap between captions. Always just leave these as far left as you can because when you have these turned up, it, it just gets wonky. Just turn them all the way down. And so then we're gonna go to single line and then create captions. So as we can see, we now have the captions at the bottom and select all of our captions. And then if we go to properties, I'm gonna center the text. And then personally for font, I like to do SF Pro. I know a lot of people like to use other fonts like Open Sans. Hopefully I get this one right, like new Haas Graz Trek. Gross trick. I know those are a couple popular fonts. Personally, I just like the look of SF Pro. Just, it's just what I like. It's a free font from Apple that you can go ahead and download for yourself if you want it. Or if not, just pick whichever font you think fits the vibe. So now I'm gonna go ahead and scale it up a little bit. I don't like my cap just to be too big. I think clean, 
I think small, simple, to the point. So something like that, I think, is good. I'm actually gonna move this down a little bit and make it feel a little bit more natural in the composition. Somewhere below my face, I think, looks good. So, and then for the shadow, I'm just gonna turn the opacity way down and then make the distance a lot longer. So for this example, it's kind of hard to tell because it's on a black shirt, but you definitely want it to be very soft. So I would just go up on that, turn your opacity way down, and it should look good. It's just hard to see in this example. So the next thing I like to do is I just like to go through my captions and just make sure that everything looks good, make sure there's no typos or anything and sometimes you'll have like one word captions that are just way too short so I'll just go and make sure everything looks good. So for this, I know that I'm gonna wanna do an effect for the just like this part. And so I need to take away the look. So I'm just gonna go back to this line, double click on it and just add in the look. And I'm just gonna go ahead and readjust the timing of this caption so that it lines up. Clean aesthetic look just like this. So yeah, that looks a lot better. So immediately then we just have this well. I don't I don't want that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it, move this one back, and then we're just gonna add that in. Cool. So that looks good. So I know at the very end that I'm gonna want to have a solid white background. So we need to center that text. And so this is gonna be applicable. So if you have like B-roll on your footage and you want the text position in a different spot, this is where you go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna select these last three, center them. So now we have someone that looks like this. Great today, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. Cool. So now that all of our captions are done, highlight them all, go up to graphics and titles, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit upgrade caption to graphic. And so now all of our captions are ready for any sort of animations that we wanna add. First thing is gonna be the hook. And I don't want these captions to just be static. I want it to have some kind of animation to it. And so this is where we're gonna start using the preset kit. So for these first four, I'm gonna highlight them, right click on it, nest them. So this way, when we apply animation to it, it's gonna to apply to all those captions. And in your effects tab, under presets, we're gonna go into our clean and aesthetic kit. And for this, I wanna do a smoother reveal on this one. I think the smoother reveal just really helps the whole clean and aesthetic look. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. Have you ever wanted to create? I think that actually looks really good. But if you don't have the kit, I'm gonna show you guys how you can create the same look. First thing we're gonna do is go up to transform. I'm gonna add in a transform to our sequence. And first thing, I always turn the composition shutter off and then move the shutter angle all the way up. And this is gonna create a motion blur effect. And I think it just looks great, honestly. I never do anything without it. We are going to adjust the position and scale for this. I'm just gonna move it down quite a bit. I'm gonna turn the opacity down to, let's do like five. Okay, so we got that good. We're gonna keyframe the opacity and the position. And I'm just gonna move forward a little bit. This was at 1920 and the opacity back to 100. So let's see what this looks like. Have you ever wanted to create so it was definitely a little quick. Gonna move these back a little bit. Have you ever wanted to create? We're on the right path, but it doesn't look good yet. We're gonna highlight all of our keyframes, right click, temporal interpolation, and then we're gonna do Bezier. Hit the drop down. We can go ahead and adjust these keyframes. And so this is how you're gonna get it to look smooth. So if we move one in, you're gonna start to see a little peak happen. And this is showing you the rate of the animations. You'll see what I mean. This bottom one, you definitely just want to line it up as much as possible. And we can just move this to see what it looks like. Have you ever wanted to create? That looks good, but I think it's still a little too fast. Have you ever wanted to create this? So now it's actually looking really good. So the next thing that I want to do is add flicker to some text. I think it just looks really good in my opinion. So we're going to go into our clean and aesthetic preset kit, and then we're going to find flicker in, and we're just going to drag and drop this on. Have you ever wanted to create? It's super subtle, but I think it looks really good. So now if you wanna know how to actually create this flicker in, if you don't have the kit, we're gonna go back to our effects panel and then we are going to just gonna to go to transform, drag and drop transform onto it. And so for this, we are going to be keyframing the opacity. So for this, there's no specific way you need to do this. It's just kinda of have fun with it. I'm gonna start it pretty low. We're gonna keyframe that and you're just gonna add in like a ton of keyframes and just adjust the opacity. I wouldn't go like 100, 0, 100, 0 because that's just gonna make it like a flash. But if you jump from like 15, 30, 70, back to 40, you'll get something that actually looks pretty good. Add in a whole bunch of these and we'll see what it looks like. So I think these are way too spread out. Let's just see what we're working with. Have you ever wanted to create? Okay, that actually looked pretty good off the rip, but I'm just gonna move these all in and just make this flicker just super quick. Obviously, just make sure your last keyframe is set to 100. 
I've never wanted to create this video. So that's how you do the flicker effect, and I think it looks sick. Okay, so next up we have the Instagram Reels text, and I want this one to be above my head. I just want it to stand out. The first thing that we want to do is kind of just stack these layers. And so I'm just going to extend these out a little bit because I'm going to have an animation out, and it's just going to be way too fast if I don't make it longer than what it is. As you can see, we have the Instagram Reels stacked on top of each other, so I'm just going to click on Reels go up to your effect or motion and just drag this position down. Now for this, I actually want to use a different font. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and use the Renaissance font just to add a bit of contrast between the two font styles. Turn the size of it way up. And I'm going to adjust the positioning of it a bit. It's still honestly not big enough. So I'm just going to go back up to scale and just move it around cool so i think that looks pretty good now i'm gonna i'm just gonna move these up a little bit just kind of get them out of the way i'm just gonna move the text way back so that way it has time for the animation to go out i'm gonna go up to our presets clean and aesthetic and i think for this i want to do smooth reveal down because we're gonna have it above my head so it's gonna go ahead and add this to both i'm just gonna disable these layers really quick so we can see what we're working with and i'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it even longer. Have you ever wanted to create Instagram reels that had that clean? So now this is actually look, looking pretty good. Next thing I wanna do is I want to, let's, let's do a smooth disappear. Actually, smooth disappear up. And so the same exact thing that I showed you on how to create it, you're just gonna do the same exact thing for this if you don't have the kit. And I think one more thing, I'm just gonna add noise to it just for an extra little touch. Right click both of these, nest them. And now we can go ahead and actually move it above my head. I'm gonna scale it up a little bit too. Let's try and find the composition that I like. I'm actually gonna put it behind my head a little bit because I wanna use a plugin called Keeper and by no means, it's, it's expensive. Like I would only recommend it if you actually really like the look of the effect. But if, if not, I would just position this farther up a little bit more to see whatever fits your real best. But to do this effect, I'm gonna cut our A roll and then I'm just gonna hold Alt and duplicate it above all of our text. Up in the effects tab, I'm just gonna go to Keeper and put that right there. So now you can see that the text is actually behind my head a little bit. It doesn't look that good right now. We can enhance it a little bit. If we go down to quality, set it to high, definitely looks a lot better. It doesn't always work perfectly, but I would much rather take a little bit of a quality hit than have to mask frame by frame, point by point. That's just a nightmare. So Keeper, Loki, Goaded. And I don't have any affiliates with them. I just use their product and I paid full price for it. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like now. Great, this is in Reels that had that clean and aesthetic. Perfect. So I'm going to turn these layers back on. I actually need to move this down so that way we can actually see our text. Great. Instagram reels that had that clean and aesthetic look just like this. Cool. That looks good. All right. So for this, actually, I didn't delete that original look. So I'm going to split like this as well. Just create three different lines. Fix that and then just change this one to this. And I'm just going to go ahead and stack these up and I'm just gonna make them as long as they need to be. I'm gonna go ahead and just readjust these to where they're all visible. So now I wanna kinda dial in the look of it. Find whatever you think looks best to you. Kind of line up the T with the L. But we're with it for now. Move these text layers out of the way because I want to have the animation on it. So I'm just going to make these a bit longer. I'm going to disable that top layer for now. So now we have something that looks like this. Just like this. Well, this is what I'm Since we have these three highlighted, I'm going to go back to our clean and aesthetic kit and I'm just going to add a smooth reveal to them. Just like this. Well, this is what I want to I think that looks pretty gas. We just need to put it in a different spot. So right click, nest, hit OK. And then I'm just going to move this up a bit. Kind of want it off to the side a little bit and just scale it up. Let's see what this is looking like. So we got that. I'm not going to put any animation on it out because I do want to do a separate effect for this part that we'll come back to. So I'm going to go ahead and re enable this. So this is what I want to show you how to create today. So let's go ahead and hop right in. So now for this last bit, I just want it to be a solid white background. So I'm just going to go ahead, right click on it. New item, color mat, hit OK. I don't want to be like a perfect, perfect white. I want to be a slightly off white. Add a little like, yellow tint to it, hit OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag this in beneath our text layers and then just shorten this up. And then I do want to change the color of this text so it's not a white on white background. So I'm going to select these three head on over to the properties tab. And then for our fill, there's a lot of warm tones in this clip. So I kind of want to keep it the same vibe. I think that looks pretty solid. Let's run with that. Go ahead and hop right into it. 
today. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Cool. I think it looks fire. So for the next step, I want to do some camera movements. And so to do this, let's start from the very beginning. I'm going to go to right click, new item, adjustment layer, hit OK. And we're just going to go ahead and drag this on, make that a little bit shorter. And so then in our clean and aesthetic kit, I'm going to do a camera pull in focus. See what this looks like. Have you ever wanted to create Instagram? See, I think that looks fire. It just adds a lot of quick motion at the very beginning without being like too overwhelming. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move that down a little bit. Have you ever wanted to create Instagram Reels that have you ever wanted to create Instagram Reels that had that clean and aesthetic look? Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another adjustment layer, drag this in. All right, so this one actually is not in my clean aesthetic kit, it's actually in my animate kit. And for this, I'm just gonna do a quick zoom in. Just like this. Well, this is what I want to show you. Change this up a little bit. Just like this. Well, this is what I'm actually gonna move the adjustment layer forward. Just like this. Well, this is what I want to show you. Just like this. Well, this. Okay, cool. So now the just like this actually gets cut off. To change that, all I'm gonna do is just drag this nested sequence up. Take a look. Just like this. Well, this is what I want to show you. This nested sequence is actually a little bit too short, so I'm just gonna go hit right click, and I'm gonna do add frame hold. And we're just going to extend this out a little bit. I right, both right click and then nest it once again. So for this, I'm just going to do a smooth disappear and see what that looks like. Also, this is what I want to show you how to create today. Cool. I think that's gas. I just need to move it forward a little bit. Just like this. Well, this is what I want to show you how to create today. I like it. I just need to move this text layer up above. I want to show you how to create today. So let's go ahead and hop right into looking fire. Shorten that up real quick and then Next up, I'm actually gonna go ahead and add a film burn for this transition. I don't think they make or break a video. I think they're just a nice little touch on top. So in that clean and aesthetic kit, I do have a few of them included for you, or I also do have a whole film burn pack. Again, I don't think it's necessary, but it just adds like a little, a little nice touch to your video. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these film burns. I think six always looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this on, kind of have them overlap a little bit. Let me go ahead and scale this up, I believe 200. And so for the blue mode, I'm just gonna go down and hit screen. And then for the last thing, I have a sound effect. All right, so I'll just go ahead and drag and drop this in. You had a crate today, so let's go ahead and hop right in. Okay, and now it looks fire. We're pretty much set. I'm just gonna go back, give it another watch through and make sure everything looks good. Have you ever wanted to create Instagram reels that had that clean and aesthetic look just like this? Well, this is what I wanna show you how to create today. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Noticing this, I don't like how this is just a solid cutoff. And so I'm going to go back and add a smooth disappear. Have you ever wanted to create this? All right, timeline's a little messy. I'm just gonna move this up real quick and then this nested sequence, gonna move these up, gonna right click and we're gonna add a frame hold, extend it out a bit, nest it again, and we're just gonna add a smooth disappear. Have you ever wanted to create Instagram reels that had that clean and Okay, now we're talking, now we're talking. Have you ever wanted to create Instagram reels that had that clean and aesthetic look just like this? Well, this is what I want to show you how to create today. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. All right. And so that is going to be how you can create clean and aesthetic Instagram reels. It's actually super simple to do, especially after you've done it a few times. It kind of just becomes second nature and they always just look fire. So again, that clean and aesthetic preset kit is linked down below, but you don't have to buy it. Like I said, there's all drag and drop presets in there for you. And I hope you guys kind of go crazy cook up some fire content but anyways guys thank you guys for tuning in if you want to see a video on how you can create vintage instagram reels i'm going to leave that video up right here for you guys again thanks for stopping by we'll see you in the next one